Hello? What's up, YouTube? What up, Sneaky Bees? Your boy Shuby here with another Adidas review. Yes, black box. Y'all already know what it is, man. Adidas right here, three stripes, size tag. Your boy went half size down just because I love this specific sneaker feeling snug on my feet. Feels great, man. Plus, if you own PKs, you already know. Lately, the PK has been coming out with like super loose or baggy, in other words. So you can go half size down or true to size in these and you'll be fine. Regular Adidas white sneaker paper with yellow tannish Adidas trefoil logos. The moment you've been waiting for. The Adidas NMD linen khaki. First of all, if you come in here thinking that this is some kind of poser shoe, some type of mockery, I mean, some type of lookalike, trying to compare to the, you know, Vachita, whatever, vagina tans, whatever you think this is, hell nah, man. You telling me that you came here looking for some Oxford tan colorways? No, man, this is linen khaki. Get your shit straight. So, real quick, before I review this beautiful, beautiful silhouette, if you didn't know or didn't, couldn't read and you just clicked on a picture just because you saw these sneakers on my thumbnail then you did a good job let's go man finally on my channel reviewing some fire well i mean everything i review is fire everything i review is dope everything i talk about you or somebody else your mama your daddy your grandpappy or your pastor man they gonna like this let them know about this tell them about me and let them know i review these sneakers man nmd pk in the linen khaki colorway. Saturday, just recently, on May 20th, Adidas did a huge NMD drop, varying from NMD R1s, R2s, PKs, and then we got City Socks too. Your boy definitely did cop NMDs. Just cause I've been in the mood for some NMDs, man. You saw I reviewed the Anikis, I was feeling those, I was all about those sneakers, but today, I got NMD PKs. All right, so up front, in person, I'm gonna tell you straight up, I went in the day of release. I went into Foot Locker, 10 or 11 a.m. I was inside, I tried on the sneakers, whether it was the lighting or whatever, whether it was the angle in which I was looking at the reflection, I was not feeling them just because they looked more yellow in that setting. I chose, you know, I chose a size nine, maybe it could have been the sizing, maybe because it, it wasn't too snug on my feet, which I do like now that I did go half size down. I'm super happy. Cause they do come with a sock collar and you know your boy loves a sock collar. To me, these are sick as hell guys. I don't care what you think, I don't care what you say. I don't care if you're an Ultra Boost fan. I don't care if you come at me with some nonsense talking about Nike this, Nike that, swoosh this, jump man that, OG, all that nonsense. Nah bro, stop, quit it. Shut up, I don't wanna hear it. NMD PKs run this shit, man. This is what I'm all about. I love this sneaker all day, man. I'm not trying to hype it up. I'm not trying to put no flame underneath any of these sneakers. None of that. I'm glad none of the already famous YouTubers that are out there not throwing shade in any kind of way, not disrespecting y'all, not trying to diss anybody out there, but let me clarify this. I'm super glad there isn't as much hype on this sneaker, this specific silhouette, as there is on Ultra Boost. Cause, oh. Yo man, there's a bunch of tumbleweeds in the sneaker stores, man, cause people take these Ultra Boosts left and right. And me, I mean, we talked about this already. Your boy, he's kinda, you know, wishy-washy on the Ultra Boost matter. But the NMDs though, I saw these on the shelf. Asked for my size, saw them on feet, and I thought, you know what, they look kinda cool. It was just the lighting that was a little different. I went to a different mall, I tried them on there. I really liked them in the eight and a half. Your boy said he was gonna cop. <clears throat> Hit up the plug, the plug came through. I mean, officially, this is kinda like a digital glitch type camo, except they didn't really put that in the verbiage or the title of the sneaker. But we all know this, man. We all know this camo. We all seen this before. All right, from the front of the shoe to the back of the shoe, you already know and I always say it. Boost, 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 man. Your bricks are khaki. The font of the Adidas and the Trefoil is a little bit more like darker khaki or darker brown. You got the inner brick. Obviously, like I told y'all, it's for the foot stability to be able to place your feet comfortably and so that 
your feet are not, you know, swinging, swinging all over the place. The inside we got what, I mean, to me, it's kind of tannish, but I mean, let's just use the actual word. It's khaki with the boost in white. Obviously, this is hexagon. Like I was wrong in the last video. It's not octagonal at all. This is hexagon. I had to count the little designs right there. Don't get me wrong. I didn't count every single thing here. I'm just counting the sides that each of these patterns have. Anywho, windows to your boost. Your boy had been wearing them this morning. I've been wearing them for a few hours. Super comfortable. Just wanted to show y'all in person. So if anybody had any kind of idea, any kind of, you know, thought about whether you think you should or you shouldn't get it. Here, man, check out my angle. What do you want me to do, man? I put the sneaker in every, uh, every direction that you want me to put it in. Do you want this sneaker? Let me know. Heel tab, boom. Let's go. It's not that long as usual, Adidas sneakers. Like the City Sock, man, that shit goes around like right here. I don't know why, it's just that way. <laughs> Anywho, it's a good size, you know, pull tab. Uh, Adidas brand with the three stripes, you already know. Uh, the heel cap right here is Adidas in beige tannish. So, let me bring this up. A lot of people are calling these the wannabe Oxford tans, the poser Oxford tans or whatever. Bro, these are NMDs, right? They don't look like no Oxford tans. We can have the same color. That's like me saying, if I spot a sneaker, the Vachita tans, it's gonna be a wannabe <laughs> Oxford tan. Come on, bro. It's just the color. You telling me other sneakers can't have that color? Get out of here with that, man. Let me bring this up though. A while back, Adidas did have a similar type color that was all over the French beige PKs. Those, I will definitely link a picture up there so y'all can see that they are pretty similar because it's the same silhouette, except you kind of have on that French beige PK, imagine this brick, the color of this brick all over the NMD. That's it, man. You got a little design right here. You got a little bit of white stitching, kind of look like the focus lines that you see on a camera, you know? Other than that, it's the brick color all over the sneaker. Got tan laces. I like to uh, double insert my laces into the very last eye hole so that it could be shorter. I time regularly and I sneak them inside of of the other part of the laces itself. And I just rock them that way, man. It's kind of hard. I'm not gonna go out of my way to clip them right now, but maybe down the line, if they keep bugging me or if I don't like the look of them, I'll probably clip them. Wanted to make this video real quick. It's Monday, May 22nd. Hope you guys have a beautiful week. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate all the love, all the support. Shout out to my girl, Boost Bear, for hooking me up with this link to this shirt, man from Hype Movement themselves, OG shirt, just regular black and red to rock with the OG NMDs or the OG NMD XR1s that did release. Thank you guys, your boy Shuby out.